Okay, so I want to say thank you to the Distinguished National Organic Standard Board of Directors. Thank you for the opportunity to speak. Moms Across America is speaking up for organic standards um, because food is the number one factor in health. Do you have my presentation in front of you? And yes, just let me note for the audience that we do have a presentation for Zen and it's now uh, showing up on the webinar screen. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, great. Um, food is the number one factor in health, and many of our children require organic food to have good health and in many cases to live. The contamination of organic by toxic chemicals violates our right to health and threatens our children's lives. So we must be able to trust that organic is truly organic. We want carangenin and unnecessary chemicals removed from the allowable list and for the NOSB to take steps in a coalition to protect organic from glyphosate and other toxic chemicals. We have a um, slide. We have Jennifer Lawrence in here who says that I had a team, an awesome team of doctors at the children's hospital that could not figure out what was uh, wrong with my daughter who was getting sick after nearly every meal. The moms posting on Facebook that their children are better when they got off GMOs saved my daughter's life. That day I went out and bought organic food and she stopped throwing up. So we see that our children get better when they avoid GMOs and related toxic chemicals and eat organic. However, some of our children are still experiencing inflammation and rashes even when they eat organic, and this inflammation leads to cancer. And we see this as slide. Um, our families are the sickest in the developed world, and our babies and even our men are dying at much higher rates than other countries. And we believe that the widespread use and contamination of glyphosate is a major contributing factor. Slide. Widespread use of, of glyphosate on streets, backyards, trees, and food uh, it has made this chemical ubiquitous. Slide. Um, Ib Peterson, pharma from Denmark, says that Roundup is, is, and glyphosate is contaminating our food supply through the irrigation system, through the rain, through the animal uh, products such as manure, and um, through chemical drift. Now, if, chemical, if glyphosate is found in organic farms, we request that the owner can report occurrences in a private manner, and that the NOSB or governmental agencies takes on the responsibility of holding neighboring farms who are contaminating for cleanup, holding them responsible. We request that the NOSB take on leadership to instigate legal action with other environmental groups as necessary so that organic farmers are not penalized or suffer losses as these contaminations are not their intention and they are victims of a toxic system. We are extremely concerned about the widespread contamination of glyphosate. Slide. The glyphosate has uh, contaminated our tap water, our urine, and even our breast milk. Slide. It's also contaminated our cereal, bread, honey, cotton products, beer, and wine. Slide. Including Pediasure feeding tube liquid, which is given to children with cancer. We want it on the record that consumers do not want any tolerance level to be set for glyphosate or any other toxic chemicals such as atrazine, 2,4-D, paraquat, and other toxic chemicals in organic food at all. Slide. We see a collateral damage of glyphosate, which is harming millions and millions, hundreds of millions of Americans. And I can give you this data later. So slide. We request the actions to take are that the NOSB is vocal and takes actions to revoke the license of glyphosate and toxic chemicals that are used on chemicals, including other chemicals, you know, non-organic. We request that NOSB policy to disallow the contamination of organic fertilizer by toxic chemicals and GMOs, and that manure from animal fed GMO feed is not allowed in organic um, slide. I'm sorry, I didn't say slide. In organic fertilizer, and then slide. We understand that some of these actions are not in the scope of what NOSB addresses. However, we assert that in these times, we must all go beyond what we are expected to do. We ask that you take these steps to address the contamination of glyphosate, disallow carrageenan and toxins, and protect organic standard standards by protecting the health of current and future generations. We want to say thank you so much for your time and attention. Great. Um, thank you very much, Jen. Uh, anybody have questions for Zen? Okay, I don't see any. Thank you very much for your presentation.